So this is just a quick video. I wanted to see what would happen to the sound of a record after it's been played about 100 times. To do this experiment, I used two turntables, both of which have new needles. First, I recorded the album using the first turntable. The only track I'm recording is the last one, and you'll see why in a minute. Next, I moved the album over to the second turntable. Now, this turntable has a repeat setting for different record sizes. I chose the 7-inch setting, which is exactly the size of the last track. I let the turntable repeat for approximately 6 hours and 45 minutes. The track's 3 minutes and 53 seconds long, so 232 seconds times 6 hours 45 minutes equals just over 100 plays. After 100 plays, I moved the record back to the first turntable and once again recorded it to my computer. I then did a frequency analysis in Audacity for both files and created graphs. So now, on to the results. Because of copyright policies, I can't really play the samples. But you wouldn't hear any difference anyways. The sound is almost identical, and with the compressed audio on YouTube, you definitely wouldn't hear any difference. Now, this graph simply shows the difference of the two recordings. What was lost, what was gained. As you see, we did lose some amplitude in the, of the high-end frequencies and picked up a little bit in the middle, which is most likely nothing more than surface noise from dust. This looks dramatic, but if you notice, this chart's only showing up to one decibel. Let's zoom out some. And again. Okay, let's do the same scale as the original recording. Positive and negative 90 decibels. Suddenly, it doesn't seem so bad, does it? As a matter of fact, listening to the two tracks, I really can't hear a difference other than some surface noise, which most likely a good cleaning would fix. Now let's overlay the original recording results. We can't even see the blue losses now. The loss is so minimal that most people with most equipment won't even hear it. Even if you do, you could always adjust the EQ for it. This just shows vinyl is extremely durable and you aren't ruining it by playing it, especially when you're using it on a properly calibrated turntable. Play your records, enjoy them, that's what they're made for. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below.